Yo, yo, man, yo, 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 man, yo, fuck with you, boy, you fan, double seven, nigga, man, shout out, nigga, fan, moving, nigga, what up, nigga, you good? Hey, yo, so, Dave, how you feel about Trump being president? I mean, to be honest with you, this this is what I ultimately feel, and people should mm-hmm. really know this, that presidents yeah. are not really anything but, sci- like, okay, so you got to know how it works. The people that are mm-hmm. actually doing all the fucked up shit and passing all the laws and the people that are really doing fucked up shit are the silent investors. They're like the silent investor of a company who doesn't want to be the face of the company because he'll let the face be the whore in the spotlight and get all the glory and fame, but also comes liability with that. So the liability that comes with that, the silent investors will never want that of the world. So those are the people pulling the strings. People like Trump, Hillary, mm-hmm. I've came to a rec- like a, a, to this point to realize they're nothing but people that are faces that are here to mm-hmm. distract you from the people we really got fucking problems with. And yeah. that's real shit. Mm-hmm. Because I really thought, I really thought like, I really thought Trump might change this shit just because he was saying fuck all the banks and all this shit, but he's yeah he's he doesn't know what he's doing either. So I mean, yeah, at the end of the day, these, we we went back and forth about, all, before about politics. So it was like it's interesting to hear you say that. But now nah, go ahead, I, I cut you off. These, these people they, look, bro. At the end of the day, these people can't do shit. This is what I realized. They have to pass certain bills, whether they fucking like it or not, and they're the face of it. So we don't, the people, go after the motherfuckers that are really pulling the strings. You never know who these people are. They live perfect lives and they die as old people and we never find out who these people are and it's like i don't know if you know who fucking you know the rothschilds and the, and the rockefellers are mm-hmm. but right. these people we would never know who they were if it wasn't for them getting exposed these are the sloppy ones you got to know there's a bunch of these type of motherfuckers that we will never find out about because they pull all that shit behind the shit and then we sit there like fuck her fuck him I was a huge anti-Hillary fucking dude. Like, that's the only reason Mm -hmm. why I didn't hate Trump as much as people, because I hated Hillary. But I'm just telling you that I've came to realize that all these people are fucking pawns, bro. It's nothing. It's a joke. (laughs) These are, uh, you know, Broadway actors put there for, they're like, uh, it's it's us tripping out on Hulk Hogan and all them. Like, oh, fuck Hulk Hogan. Fuck Randy Savage. This is what we're doing. But this. Diz, Diz, you don't you don't what? think though that him being the, the leader of the country inspires a type of xenophobia and a type of fucking like rampant outright bullshit like the the gains that we had over the last twenty years I, I feel like they've been erased they're or at least threatened. I think it does it does bring out the fucking worst in a lot of people. I think both sides of it though you got to know like the, the the left side brought out like the worst hippies and weirdos and fucking idiots in the fucking world. And the right brought out the fucking, yeah, the, the weird white supremacist people. But you got to know, those people like are like 0.001% of the shit. And the media make, I think this is the thing. The media throw these people in, our, in, in everyone's faces at times when they want you to flare up about it. It's just like the police brutality. People think more young black kids are getting shot these days. It's not the case. They've been getting shot like this since the 80s. And nobody fucking right. shows it on the camera until they, until they need you to get mad about it. That's what you got to pay attention to, that it's being thrown in your face at a time where they need you to be mad, and they're looking at this whole scenario, which they don't give a fuck. If anything, Trump is a strict dude who's going to clean shit up. I think he will make you think, you think that better you just, you really think that you think yeah, he's actually you, gotta, you, you know you don't think he's just bringing up Chicago crime and and bringing up these statistics just to scapegoat us just to have all these people thinking that we're savages sure. and and like not he can't sure. even talk about no, the I black experience with without bringing up poverty like I'm black I'm I got a job like most people I know have no, a I job and we have concerns as black people that he just doesn't fucking want to understand no so 100% I, I, I don't know those are, those are, no, those are real concerns, bro, 100%. You got to know something, too, uh, as far as, like, how, how politics work. When, before you become a president, like, you got to know, once you start doing fucked up shit as a president, it's kind of understandable Then when you see people passing bills before they even become president and the shit that the Clintons did to black folks. If you're going to really look at it for what it is, oh, yeah. you got to see it mm-hmm. that they're the ones really using – so, you know, Trump might be – you know, I don't expect him, bro, you got to know, all these white guys in Washington, they look the same, they act the same. People shouldn't have a problem with Trump being a racist because we elected 900 other motherfuckers just like him to sit in the House. So, 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 so at the end of the day, 
that's who we're giving power to anyways. We're giving it to the fucking white guys with the suits every time. Uh, in, in, in so we, you saying because we already of, so we we already abdicated power to white supremacy, so we should just let white supremacy continue to you, win you know what? and I don't represent even think our, it's white our country. Supremacy. I don't think it's white supremacy. Hmm. I think it's rich versus poor. Like it really is because uh-huh. if you're black and you got money, you're accepted in those clubs. They, they'll like you as long as you got money. You in there with them? You could come like LeBron in there and dunk inside the White House and do all that. As long as yeah. you got money, you part of that fucking elite family, and that's what you got to understand that they hate poor people. That was the th- that was the problem that I really initially had with Trump because you got to know what Trump is. There are two types of politicians. This is what I found out through my research. There's DC insiders who is like the Clinton family. Mm-hmm. People corrupt families that are taking power through patriarchy through the government. And then you got Trump style, which is the elite royal families. They're like, they're like the plutocrats. On, yeah, they're plutocrats for sure. And they're connected to the Vons. And there's tons of other families that are the royal elite wealthy of the country. Now, the good part about it, the politics, the bad part about that is they're going to do stupid shit. Right. You get what I'm saying? Like, exactly. They don't, they don't have... They don't have systematic fucking design for black folks to die, like the industrial complex, like the crime bill. The crime bill is the most insane shit ever. All the homies are gone because of the crime bill. The crime bill that sends you, to, sends you away for life on the third strike, it could be fucking after violating parole. It could be some weed. You could, you could just drive drunk and go away for life. So you got to know that that's what they use to fill up the institutions. And at the end of the day, we were just, here it is. We're, we're deciding between two less, uh, lesser evils, uh, and you, right. got, you got one person, one person that, that calls black folks predators and shit like that, bro. I mean, if you really want to listen to Hillary shit from back in the day, she's scary. Right. Yeah, she's yeah, yeah. Scary. I mean, she talked about it. That was documented. We, we know about these past aggressions. I, I hear you on that. But a, a guy who just, she's, so, she's just shows scary. ineptitude, like, of the issues, like, like he doesn't, he doesn't even know what the fuck he's talking about. And then he spent... He, he yeah, went, like that, as a black it man, it offends me. He, he got popping from going after President Obama for his birth certificate. Like, I, I, I can never, I can't believe that people actually would take that shit seriously. Like, that's crazy. Well, Show me the papers, and that's that. the people we elected. Look, no, no, but this is the thing. You got to know what happened to, with that. I can even give you a name to look up and actually look at what mm-hmm. happened with that. For Trump, he wasn't coming up with that. There's a whole police department in L.A. I mean, not L.A., I mean, in uh in the Midwest, uh, you can look it up, bro. This guy's named Joseph Arpaio. Mm. This whole investigative yeah, yeah, department, yeah. a sheriff and fucking uh, fraud experts that came out saying this shit, and they just ran with it. Now, nobody knows whether it's real or not, and that's really not the case. If you really look mm. at shit, Obama was more of a Muslim president than a, a black president, and it's going to trip you out when I say that, but it's yeah. real. Look, I'm going to explain something to you. He sends Saudi Arabia and Afghanistan and Israel, okay. and all these countries, mm-hmm. billions of dollars in aid. He sent Afghanistan, like, $12 billion for, like, to build some bullshit over there. And what's happening with if he really cared about Chicago and these inner cities, you know how much less money it would take to fix them? These people were invested in foreign shit that would make them money, bro. They were capitalizing off free markets outside of America. Oh, this is what they were. This, this, any any time our president reminded America that he was a black man, he got fucking flack. You think they're gonna just let him go in there and help out Chicago? Like, like, bro. Like, I think now he's moving his shit over to that to Chicago. His library is there. He can actually do work and be a thorn in these motherfuckers' side for the next thirty years. But let me so, ask you a question. I, I don't, How could you justify? Yeah. How could you justify Flint not having clean water and us sending F-16s to Saudi Arabia? Just as a fucking I can't. I can't like, justify like that. Literally, I can't. I can't. You can't. Yeah. You can't. There is no way, bro. There's absolutely no fucking way. And that's why people are certain people are mad, and they look at Donald Trump as maybe the guy that's going to get them out of it. And the truth is, is what I'm telling you, is they're probably all just a bunch of morons. Everybody. You know what I mean? There's mm. there's nothing. The system don't work, and and, and you know, people are fighting over the same shit, bro. We're, we're fighting over the same yeah. shit. There, there's nobody that's gonna come in and rescue anybody. If Donald Trump is removed right now, you know what will happen to the country? Immediate civil war and martial law. Mm. If if you think if so, martial I, I law happens. 
Yeah, if the president, if something happens, like he gets impeached or some crazy shit, bro, everything will be fucked up. If martial law happens and they freeze the economy for a day out here, you know what else will happen? What? Shit will collapse and everything will go up double, triple, quadruple price. Like a gallon of milk will become like $40. This is what happens in countries that go through these things. They happen year round all over the world. Happened in Venezuela last year. They're finished. Mill- coups, military coups, and, and shit like that. I mean, I, yeah, I, mean, I guess, coups, but we, we exactly, put in you know enough safeguards up. to. Like the president, you know the president up? doesn't actually have that much power. Like, like we put enough safeguards so shit no, don't just correct. go haywire. My thing is that the image right. that he's presenting is is intolerant. It's fucking. It's misogynistic. It's racist. I man, I just can't. Like the shit he's saying about Muslims. Come on, bro. Like that shit. Okay, is, let me. Okay, I'm gonna explain that to you. Look, like man, let's get into that because I already. You know what I mean? Okay, why? This is why you gotta look at things with a double edged sword all the time. I know tons of Muslims that are incredible people, bro, that are like the coolest people in the world. They're hardworking American Muslims, people who came here from other countries and and immigrated here and became Americans and adopted the Western lifestyle, and they love America. Okay, these people that live here, you got to understand that what happens once you start letting them in without screening them and actually watching them, there's a real problem with radical Islam right now, whether people fail to fucking realize it or not. I'm from that part of the world Homegrown in fucking, America. Listen to this, bro. Just just pay attention, bro. And, and I'm gonna mm-hmm. I'm gonna explain to you shit that you're gonna see later on happen in front of you. There's a huge problem right now. It is very very big. It's way more serious than you think it is. And 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 these motherfuckers are coming into all the countries with open borders because the open border policy is what is destroying uh, Europe right now. The reason why they've had terrorist attacks is because they have no borders, and they said it was racist. Anybody who stood up and tried to close the borders got called a Nazi and a racist, and they let all these refugees in without screening them. So when you let millions of people in without registering them or watching them or screening them, the little terrorists are going to slip in. Now, this is what I'm trying to tell you. Once the terrorists slip in and they start blowing shit up, all the Muslims got to go. So what happens is everybody starts getting targeted. And in a case of a war, if we go to war with Iran, you know what will happen to the Muslims here? They'll get shipped off to camps like the Japanese did. There ain't no difference. Well, they will all get this, rounded the type up. Of, but, so you gotta know. This, the type of the type of crime though, the type of crime that young white men commit in America is fucking crazy. Like our mass shootings, like our our Muslim motivated so crime, help, as opposed to all gun crime, is not. It doesn't even. It's not even the same. Yeah, but do you agree that we have a health problem then? Like more than, it's really more. Oh, of a so mental it's mental health issue. when it's people, white people. It's mental, mental health when it's white people, it's but it's terrorism. White people, they're on all the pills. They're on all the pills. Of course, it's, mental health is the most fu- important thing. And, that, and I'm telling you, that's where the proof is why white boys shoot shit up all the time. Because they're the ones on all the pills from early ages. Their families put them on pills since they're kids. That don't happen in Mexican and minorities and black folk families. That don't happen. Ain't nobody putting their kids on no pills. It don't happen in Arab families either. Yeah, you know well, I mean? mental white, health in the black community is a big kids. fucking problem, though. I mean, I, I hear you, no, mental health course, in, but, in the black community is a huge problem. I mean. But that's from, look, that's from circumstance and, 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 and the lack of opportunity. When you press people and oppress them to the point where there's no more opportunities to get jobs and you can't get out and you can't do anything, you resort to crime. It's, it's a given fact. These people are trying to control guns to stop crime and all this shit when all they need to do is help people get jobs and and clean up the areas and, and do better education in the, in the schools and free health care and shit like that, that's what's going to make the crime go down. People don't understand that. When we happy, how about you? When you happy, do you feel like you, like, think about it. I, I mean, uh, at points in my life where I've really had nothing and I've felt like I just, I've got, I became violent, you know what I mean? So you become violent when you don't have shit and you only happy when you're getting money and people, when they get money, they don't want problems. And that's just a known fact. Right. The, the the idea though so, that, that that black people or 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 Muslim people are predisposed to crime is bullshit, and I think we keep getting said that. No, but and the idea that we can't screen people is also bullshit, man. People get like, no, bro. I used to. I was an academic advisor. I used to work with kids from refugee communities. Like they frequently were screened and always had to check in and have somebody like working with them and shit like that. Like I think that's a absolute. scapegoat. It's it's bad. It's it's harassment. I've been I've been subject to it my whole life being Arab, bro. I've been I know how it is, bro. Trust me, bro. I've been harassed mm-hmm. to the point of no return. I've been embarrassed on planes. 
shit like that, bro. Like after the nine eleven shit. Like now, finally, people are standing up. Yeah, people are that standing shit, up wow. for Arabs now. But bro, in the beginning, in the beginning, we were uh, we were fucking uh, pretty much. It's okay to talk shit about Arabs. Oh, go back to the desert. Oh, you're a camel. Like it was okay after the media told everybody that we were the fucking enemies and we should invade Iraq because they bombed the fucking twin towers. You got to know the type of shit I went through during that. I'm trying to tell you that there's a mm-hmm. lot of bad radicals that give us all a bad name and we need to be protected from them. How do we protect ourselves from them? And right now when you have a refugee crisis where they're fleeing all over the world, entering borders, how do you stop them from coming to the border? The only way to protect yourself is to monitor them because one of them is going to snap. And it's just a fact, bro. This is not mm. something that's up for debate. I've seen it. I've lived in a country where it's like that, bro. I know all about this shit. I can't possibly explain mm. to you. And it's really one sect of Islam that's doing it right now. So it's not all Muslims. It's just one sect no, from one area. And they need to be... Yeah, so hey. do you know that they're not even monitoring people from Lebanon? So, like, a Lebanese Muslim could come in. They're not going to fucking... They're not going to do... They're not rejecting visas from anywhere. They're rejecting them from the whole... All the areas that have been destabilized. Libya, Sudan, Iraq, that have literally real fucking terrorists fleeing. You get what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. you got to look at shit as a double-edged sword. I feel like it protects my Muslim fucking, uh, you know, uh, friends and brothers because... They're all good people. I don't want to see them bunched up with that bullshit one day when they start coming out here and blowing shit the fuck up, because they will. Just like they did across Europe, expect them to start doing crazy shit across America. I'm telling you this right now. I said it here first. Mm. Like, you're going to see it. They're going to start doing crazy shit, just like they did in Europe, bro, driving trucks through shit. Watch. This is how it is. It's spread, and you can't stop it until you destroy that shit. Word of mother. Yeah. <laughs> yo, yo, Dave, you, you, you gonna finish it off with that? Dude. Yeah, you know what, Dave? How, how you feel about how you feel about the um the death penalty? Uh, I think certain people need it, like that Dylan Roof kid. They need to fucking blow his head off. Yeah, yeah. Like so, uh, death dude, penalty. Man. I feel like it's set. look. I feel like death penalty is needed, and also you know they're trying to reinstate torture. I feel like torture should be needed. I'm I'm all for torture if. You could prove that that person's part of a terrorist organization or somebody that's hurt people. Fuck yeah. You can fucking shred that motherfucker up. Hell yeah. I'm all yeah. so? Fuck yeah. Shred his life away. I don't give a flying fuck. It, you mean to tell me that an ISIS dude should have rights? True. No, you're right. You're right. How you feel, no. I mean... I mean, that's, I, I'm, I'm, I feel with this. I'm, I'm with him for the most part, but I do feel like we do make martyrs in this motherfucker. Like, I ain't even want to say the little dickhead's name from down south that did that bullshit to them people in the church like i don't even want to say his name because then people start to you know go around that and they say you know what i mean like like he should have been shot on sight but like motherfuckers will use that as a rallying cry though no fuck that you know what needs to be done with him and as cruel as this sounds i'm telling you there's a reason why i'm saying this he needs to be taken like the medieval days as fucked up as it sound and i'm not for this but he needs to be guillotined in front of the whole town I'm not. Or stone. I'm cool with that. Yeah, or stone. No, I'm actually cool. Either, I'm yeah, cool with that. We can't just be. You can't go in the church like they welcomed you into a church, pray for your fucking ass, and then you kill them. No, no, not acceptable. So this guillotine yeah, idea that you got, you might be on something. An example set, bro. You you got to know that an example got to be set so people don't do it. And if you hide it and people don't ever know what happened with them, all they gonna remember is the headlines of somebody shooting everybody. So you got to hold, you have to have accountability and you got to show it. I feel like he needs to be right. shown. Like it needs to be broadcasted just like the election was. The execution of fucking, let's not say his name again, fucking right here mm-hmm. in front of everybody. Watch it live. And he just needs to get his shit peeled off right there in front of everybody. They could, they could put, they could have this. a black like bag over it so we don't see no blood. You know what I mean? Yo, I, I, we follow each other on Twitter. This might be one of the dopest ideas that you you came up with, bro. Like, this is uh, this is actually like I'm I'm cool with everything going on right now. Go ahead, Caps. My bad. <laughs> we just switched the position for it. <laughs> nah, because people like that need to be made an example, dog. You can't be an enemy to humanity like that. You need to be taken out, bro. You don't deserve like they they made like he got to stay there. They got to feed him and all that shit for the rest of his life. Fuck that. Fuck all that shit. I say, look, torture and death. I'm, I'm kind of cruel when it comes to the eye for eye shit. I'm a firm right. believer in that. 
Right. Uh, if we can get it live and then get you to spit a 16 right in front of it while it's happening, bro, I'm all for it. You're an man. idiot. Like, <laughs> awesome. like, we hey, that'd be, I think that's the worst way to die, to hear my voice before you pass over. Yeah. Fuck that shit. <laughs> My okay. voice out of all people, like the last thing you hear is my verse. Oh man, that's like the worst death ever. Oh man. Yo, yeah, you fuck, <laughs> yeah, you fucking stupid bitch. Well yo, but that's what it is though, man. Yo, go for calling right. up and shit. You know what I'm saying? I know it was last minute shit, but look at you heard. Three percent left, man. Good looking out, doggy. <laughs> Word, man. Man. Fault, brother. So, that's, that's, that's a good conversation, bro. No doubt, man. Peace, no homie. All right, man. Y'all have a good one. Yo, yo, man, yo, 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 man, yo, fuck what you want, you fan, double seven, nigga, man, shout out to you, fan, moving, nigga, what up, nigga, you good?